love the hoppins. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Chosen duck. Yeah. Yeah. And here he is. Oh, so pretty. I kind of just want to, I want to do sort of an inception thing here. Oh my god. There's loads of them. <laughs> look, look, it's a microphone and it, it's pop filters propped up in between Sonic's legs. Because that, you gotta go fast. Hello, I'm the Game Beaver and this is another episode of Jurassic World. The game, look, 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 Dominus, Dominus, look, red eyes, whee! Okay, there we go, we got that out of the way. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? We have so many, we've got eggs to hatch, we've got a collect pack, we've got a weekend event, and there was something else that I wanted to do, and it's completely flew past me. Oh, look at this, look at look what offer they've got. You could pay 10 pounds and get 3,250. Uh, or you could pay eight pounds and get one thousand two. Basically, they're just saying buy this, and look what else they have. This load of rubbish. Don't do it. Don't get it. It's worthless. Absolutely worthless. Um. So I just want to say th I just want to say thank you before this episode starts. Thank you, thank you, so much for all you guys have done for me. Like leaving a like, even just watching the videos and being a part of this channel because it, it it's unexplainable how popular this has gotten and I've, I, I don't feel like I've earned it. I haven't done anything. I, I try to think what I've done and I haven't done anything different but it's thanks to you guys like all of a sudden it, I've reached this threshold and then I had um my contact at my uh, partner partnership, like who my YouTube channel is partnered to, and they were like, "Ah, oh, congratulations! We're gonna talk to you about opportunities and all this other jazz." And then I had like YouTubers, well-known YouTubers, start tweeting me like, "Oh, hey, I do," and I was like, "What the hell's going on? You didn't like me when I was unpopular. I didn't know of me. Leave me alone!" <laughs> it's like all of a sudden I've passed through the accepting level of YouTube. Um, which is weird because the, the, one of the guys that contacted me, I contacted him when I was a little channel and he never responded to me. And now he's like, oh, hey, how you doing? No, we're not talking to you. <laughs> no, but and on, on a serious note, like, it, I wouldn't be here without you guys. And I don't know what I do that draws you. I mean, I try to be educational. I, I'm not the one who knows everything about everything because I don't. But if I know... I try to make it factual, I try to explain and help learn about animals and uh, dinosaurs. I try to give tips on the games and maybe just all of it together in one makes you want to watch it. So anyway, just want to say thank you before we start the video. You mean the world! And without you, I wouldn't be here. So let's begin. What do we have first? Let's collect the free pack. Uh, hopefully DNA. Yes, there it is. 140 takes us to over 2,000 DNA. Awesome. Getting closer to buying a hybrid. Uh, we actually have um, all of the hybrids. So right now we're just saving up for a second hybrid. And what's great at this early stage is no matter what hybrid we buy, we can get it to level 20. We can fuse it with the existing one and get it to level 20, which is amazing because like even just the extra step boosts the stats numbers by a, a, an amazing amount. So uh, what we're gonna do, we need a level 30 Carnotaur to even do the weekend event, which is this. It's the uh, uh, Carnotaur Showcase. So I need a level 30 Carnotaur. So we're gonna have to feed tiny little arms. Like, look at those arms, it's pathetic. People say that the T-Rex had pathetic little arms, but look at this guy. It's awful. Because they're not existent. What's the point in even having them? And, like, there's, the, really, I mean, spending on DNA, that's fine. I, you've got to spend DNA to level up. But the books part, normally I would say, you know, if you can avoid it, don't speed it up. Uh, unless you're doing what I'm doing, which is I have to record it for a video. So I can't, I can't just all of a sudden pause this and then in an hour come back to it. Uh, I, I, I mean, I could... But then it's sort of, when I record, I like to get into a routine. I like to be like, bam, bam, bam. And then it's like, kind of, Bleh! start. And then I have to wait for ages. And then I'm like, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> so we get the adrenaline pumping soon. And Actually, that's right. I was going to get, um, 
was gonna get some to drink while I was doing this, but ah, that's okay. I'll get it for the next one or something. So we got a, we can get a level 30. Yeah, a max level 30. And I think that's all we need. We can buy him back because we need it for each one. Oh, that one was way. Look at the look at his little ditty arms on the right there. Wait, when he turns around, just watch him. Watch him. It's like I believe I can fly. <laughs> it's pathetic. It's kind of awful. Oh, but at least he's got some color on him now. Beautiful Carnotaur. A fan favorite, and the reason why Carnotaurus is probably in every, almost every dinosaur game that's ever existed. And T-Rex has been yes, but Carnotaur is up there. Like I've said in a previous video, Carnotaur's a really, really popular dinosaur. I can't think of a game he's not in. Um, so there we go, level 30, speed that up. Oh, first time! Pink Beauty, let's do it. Three, stop! So do we need a level 30? Is that what we need? Yes, we do, a level 30 plus. So we need to uh, max this guy again. The funny thing is, I just had to splice one in like not too long ago to get the Spino Raptor. So not the Spino Raptor, the Carno Raptor. Silly beaver, you don't know what you're talking about. You can't play this game. Right. So we do the battle. And we're against a Bonitosaurus, an Ankylodocus, and a Superosaurus. So pretty much, um, except for the Ankylodocus. Oh, wait, actually. Bonitosaurus is easy. Ankylodocus and Superosaurus, however, are up there with the, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much up there. So, I could just put Demetrodon in, and that's a sure to victory. Um, and you know what? That's precisely what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in uh, Demetrodon. That's all I need. It, there's a chance that Carnotaurus could win this um, by himself, but in this sort of game, the more creatures you have in, the more chance... Like, the more turns go by, and the more turns go by, the more energy you get. And basically, that's how you win. Uh, so... In this sort of situation, three creatures at lower levels are better than one, one good creature. I mean, like, that was it. Use three, use three, and it's got nothing in block. So now I could attack for... There, it's dead. Um, and I, I could block here, but I know I've got Indominus in the waiting. So that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with me just going for the hit, the hit and that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's going to bring Ankylodocus in. Um, Ankylodocus... Could kill me with maybe one or two hits, but goes for the three again, leaving itself incredibly open. Uh, Demetrodon's gonna have not a problem. I think one bite, ooh, almost kills it. Superosaurus uh, with four uh, cannot kill us. So there is no point in me even going for blocks. But I have, re I have lots of leftovers in reserve. If I could, I would put six in reserve, but I can't here. So, I mean, I think four... It attacks about 113. So we're talking about 250 with two attacks, maybe 400. Definitely not over 1,000 with four. And now we get to see Dimetrodon's awesome run cycle. You ready? Ah! Ready to be see me run? <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Little splayed legs. There's a, there's a term for it, and I can't remember what it's called. Again, a lot of people think that Metrodon was a dinosaur, but it actually pre-existed the dinosaurs by millions of years and is a reptile-like mammal. So into the second. So we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, almost level 20. A Carnoraptor, which is okay. And um, actually, Carnoraptor rivals level 20 T-Rex. Interesting. This shows that a, hi a rare hybrid is as good as a normal legendary. That says something. So, in other words, super rare hybrids and legendary hybrids kick the ass of everything, basically. Uh, so, they're all carnivores. So, oh no, what have oh, I bought back to Metaton? Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, where are you, Carnotaur? There you are, buddy. I wasted like how many books on that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get it back. No worries, guys. We all make mistakes, especially here at the Gaming Beaver. So, who have we not seen? Uh, Coolosaurus could wreck this whole place up. Go for it, Bullfroggy. Yeah. We have to make Carnotaur win the last one, though. We have to. So against the T-Rex, um, I'm going to have to fodder it off. One hit is not going to be enough from the T-Rex, so if it wants to kill me, it's going to have to waste all its ghosts. And it does exactly that, leaving itself open for Super cool aid to come in. Oh. It's going to kill you with probably two bites. 
Uh, one. Oh, so close. Now, I, there's no point me going for blocks here because a two-hit Connor Raptor can do literally nothing. It's going to do about 300 damage to me. Oh, nice. I like its color. A little hint of red. Very pretty. So it knows that and it didn't go for anything. Now, I could go for a full-on attack here. Even though it's, it could have went for two blocks, which it might have. Um... Let's, let's think. Okay, let's, if I go for four, we've killed it no matter what. Uh, worst case scenario, he's reserved. So that means in the next turn, he's going to have five for attack. Now, if this was something good in next, which it isn't, I would have to worry about. But because it's something bad, like Dilophosaur, who's got 100 not attack, half that, about 50, 60 attack, with 60 or 70 attack, with five, that's not enough. So we can afford to risk it. Hopefully, ah, he has went for reserves. Very clever. Uh, with the Connor after that would have been good. But here, we're not even over 100. So even with 5 in attack, it goes for 4. Does about 483. Even if it put in the extra one, it would only give him maybe 200 extra. So we would have survived. He's got a 1 in block, which means Super Kool-Aid can kill it. And again, people have pointed out that this is called Coolosaurus. And you might think that it's... Um, it's Coolasuchus with um, Microposaurus, but it's not. The game actually made a mistake and put it with Sarcosuchus, which would make it Coolasuchus. But actually, it's, it's called Coolasaurus, which is really strange. I don't know how they managed to uh, fudge that up. But anyway, <laughs> oh my god, really? Really? You want to do this? You want to do this? One Sarcosuchus. Bear in mind, I can put in anything else. Uh, it's dead. It's dead. Peck out your eyes as it's gonna have a field day over you, buddy. So, uh, 19 bucks. And we get a legendary pack. A really, really rare thing. Um, peak. Oh, God, go away, pick. So, Carnotaurus. I can't- I want Carnotaurus to win. I do. I mean, this is- this is to showcase Carnotaur. And so far, all I've done is showcase everything but. So, what do we got? Um... We could go for one attack and do about, like what, 800 damage? Yeah, let's do that. It doesn't even have a block. Oh, bless it. Straight off the bat, almost dead. <laughs> and it can't do anything to us because it's got the disadvantage. It, yeah, it doesn't even go. You know what? We're going to go for reserves here. We could, like, yeah. Ooh, if we went for two, we'd have blocked. So again, we're doing really good. One, two, three, four, and a block. Go for a full-on attack. Oh, what? Um, it actually went for two. Pitiful. Ah, oh, it's gonna have a no, no problem. I'm gonna pick out all oh, the eyes. So Carnotaur comes in. Ah, oh, bless it. So we're gonna see it's special. I think. Actually, I can't remember what it's special is. It's gonna be the T-Rex, though, right? It's gonna roar and then bite. So there you go. With a little help from its friend, peck out your eyes as Carnotaur, yum, takes the victory. Boodoosh. And there you go, showcase. Ludi, are you happy? It, it, it didn't, barely did anything. Tiny arms is. And there we go, a legendary pack. I can't get these anymore. I, I, like, the only way to get legendary packs is to, like, buy them. Um, I can't remember. The only way I would get them before was by uh, every time you leveled up you got an option to get a pack half price and a legendary pack was about if it's 20 pound like that would be really good because if a rare pack is eight pound it's only four pound a legendary you get loads off um but right now this what do i want i want a uh a sarcosuchus because we don't have one anymore sarcosuchus <gasps> it could be it could be ah oh, 500 bucks is not bad oh yes Yes! It's a T-Rex! We don't have one of those anymore! It says new as well! Oh, oh that's the other thing I wanted, because after splicing the legendaries together, I lost them. I lost my T-Rex, but here's the beginnings of a new start! Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, oh, there it is! Ah, oh, T-Rex, I love you all. So, we're going to put something in, very easy to get. In fact, I had over 10 Guanlongs in waiting. Uh, in the last video, and I, I, I hatched them all. I just spent- I was playing Ark and this at the same time, so I was just popping them in. Look, 
It's got green eyes. And if you guys didn't know, Guanlong is actually more, it's a relative of Tyrannosaurus and not raptors, but it seems like they gave it the raptor animation, probably because of its build. Uh, I don't think it was as big as the T-Rex, so it only makes sense. Even though it's related to T-Rex, it might not have acted like one. And judging by its anatomy, it probably didn't. Right, so we have one last thing to do, and that is... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Get the T-Rex. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. Uh, we have this battle. I don't mind paying for bucks on this one because we just won 500. Oh, Coolosaurus, Microposaurus. An Ostafricosaurus. People wanted a Spinosaurus team, and I guess a Spinosaurus team would be Irritator. Uh, I think I have a Spinosaurus. It's not leveled up, though. Irritator. Irrit <laughs> Irritator. <laughs> That's what it was like through its teenage years. Irritator. Uh, Irritator, Sukamimus, and um, Spinosaurus. And I, I don't know where Spinosaurus is, actually. It must be worse than a level 40 common. It has to be. No. Yes, it is. There it is. No, that's para. So, yeah. I will do that team. We will have a Spinosaurus team. But right now, that would get absolutely slaughtered. It would be good to get um, a peck out your eyes. Like, that would be the best way to start this video. Or this battle. But... Judging by the circumstances, it's really not, and we sort of, did we, well, we we can't get it because it costs 112 bucks. I'm not spending that much, so we're gonna start off with our own Macrobosaurus, which is way better, um, and then we're gonna switch to uh, Parasaurolophus and a finish, Indominus Rex. Let's do it. So this is a second evolved. Coolosaurus and look at the stats over 700 health and it's not even maxed so 700 damage and 1800 uh, health so this thing can do a lot of damage if he gets two hits he's killed us oh thank god uh, that was a close one okay um now he could have went for blocks oh my god I don't know if this is a good thing actually oh my god because if I go for three hits here and it reserves. That's great because we killed it. And actually, I don't think there's any way I could kill it even with three. So I'm gonna have to reserve and hopefully he went for blocks, which he didn't. Oh, he's got for. He can kill me now. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. He plays it risky. Oh, let's risk it. Let's risk it. Oh, he went for one block. Well, it's better than no blocks, but still six. Oh, goes for full on six. Okay, so he's got no blocks. Nothing in block. It's gonna have to all be up to Indominus. Um, we have about eight. I think eight's good. Eight can do it. I th y yes, right? One, I mean, it's got no blocks. Yes, eight can do it. And then we're going to have to put in three for reserves. And hopefully they'll think that we've put in three for blocks. Because they're only going to have four. I'm pretty sure Microposaurus can't kill us in one. Oh, 712 straight down to 422 attack. Ah, oh, the difference is beautiful. Okay. Oh, it goes for a swap, actually. Interesting. Goes for the swap. And does it attack? No, it doesn't attack. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to go for all reserves and blocks here. Oh, he only went for one, though. Two. Hopefully, he'll go for attacks. He does not go for attacks. Um... Right. Oh, uh, this sort of situation, it's not looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight? Yes! Just killed it. Awesome! Whoomush! Whoomush! But that leaves us open now that we have nothing. So it went for probably uh, four reserves, which means that he's got eight. He can finish us off with two. So he has six. He it has six for possible reserving. Oh, this is not looking good for little Indominus. Oh god. Um. So he could go for a full-on block. So one, two, three. There's nothing we can do. We have to go for blocks here. He went for full-on six. He went for full-on six. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now he could. Oh, no, I don't like this. We're going to have to go for four. 
Ah, oh, yeah, we're done. We're done. It's over. It's over. Seven. It goes for seven. It has a three. A six. Yeah, he's killed us. Oh, no. Come on. Like, there was nothing I could do. He went for... A f if I'd went for reserves and he went for that full-on six, that would have been perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Damn it. Um, you know what? Screw it. We're going in. I don't even care. This team can kick your body. Two of my best creatures ever. Let's show them what we're made of. We're going to go for the reserve. This guy might switch. He might switch into Osteofricosaurus. If it does that, it wastes a valuable turn, which it does not. So we're going to still go for our blocks. Even though it's halved, it's still got over 350 damage. So this thing is very, very deadly. Uh, one, two. One, two. One, two. Yes! Yes, perfect! I probably should have went for reserves there. But I I just d don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. It probably won't go for attacks here. I don't think it's going to go for attacks. It, I mean, it could! Oh, it goes for a swap out. Oh, this could be good! Because then it might attack. Oh, it does not attack. It does not attack. Um, Not looking good. In this sort of situation, I've got to go for all reserves. Okay, okay. Seven. Goes for full on seven. Couldn't have asked for anything better. I'm sorry, Peck at your eyes, but this will work perfectly for to my advantage. Because Indominus has 561. He can kill this in three hits. Uh, one, two... Oh, so close. Three. Now, let's think. Uh, Microposaurus will have four for attack. Now, it can kill me in three. So, we go for two blocks. And then three in reserve. That way, it cannot kill us at all. And we get three extra. Yeah, I think that's assured us victory. Whoopang! So, now he comes in with four. He, he can only kill us with three. That's all it can kill us with. So... If it goes for an attack, which it doesn't, which I thought it wouldn't, I put in the two just to be safe. We have to make sure that three can kill it. We have to. We have to make sure that three can kill it. Then again, this has the opportunity for going for eight. If we go for blocks and it goes for reserves, we're screwed. So we have to play this safe. If it, if it goes for all reserves... Then it has... Yeah, it will be left open. It will be left open. So we go for attack, attack, attack. Attack. It's dead. That's if it... If it goes for one block... We've won. Two block, we've won. Three block, we've won. If it goes for four block... Oh, yes! Three block! Perfect! Ah, that's it! Dominus takes the victory. Right! Yeah, 1,700. And that's it. Because we risked it, that's how we won. Not genius, but sheer courage. Or dumbfounded luck. So we get a common pack, what do we get? Ah, oh, 50-50. I guess that reimburses us for, like, to peck out your eyes. And we got another kobold. And again, with the uh, limited packs, the infinite packs, now, when... It originally started, you could get any pack. You get mystery, common, rare, super rare, and even legendary. But now they fixed it, and instead of waiting four hours for a chance of getting up to a legendary, you have to wait 24 hours, and you can only get up to a rare. That means mystery, common, rare. That's all you can get. It's a shame that they've um, stopped that, but then again, it would make uh, getting a level 40 legendary very, very easy. And if you've got time on your hands, you can blast through the levels. I see what they were trying to do. But as a player, I don't like it. Because I was in the time when it was really, really easy to do things. And now it's really, really hard and time consuming. And that's just me complaining as a gamer and probably one of you guys. But from like... a like legitimately if you think about it this game you know when you get a legendary you want it to feel special and it wasn't you just you could get them left right and center uh when you get infinity packs and now i sort of like when i got the t-rex i was over the moon because 
I can't, I, the only chance I'm going to get another legendary is next weekend. Um, which does mean that you have to definitely play it at the weekends to get a legendary. Or, again, we forget. All these commons you get, sell them. Sell, sell the commons, sell the things you don't need. As long as you've got one level 40, you can make the, uh, the um, hybrids. And as long as you've got money to burn, which I do because I got all the dinosaurs so far, except for the ones I've fused and lost, uh, money's not a problem. And selling DNA, you saw, I sold all my DNA and got enough to get Connor after and level it up and evolve it and what have you. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Thank you again for all of the support you guys leave. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.